Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in Zion. To God be the glory. I rejoice with each and every one of you. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. The city set in a hill that cannot be hidden. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. I'm sure a lot of us are probably acquainted with this song, you know, by uh, uh, Anthony Brown, uh, such a beautiful uh, uh, son of the Most High God. And um, it goes like this. This week will be a week for miracles. This week will be a week for miracles. This week is going to be a week for miracles for each and every one of you. I'm sure a lot of us are acquainted with the book of Matthew. You know, Matthew such a beautiful uh, uh, week, uh, book, I believe it is. Uh, in Matthew chapter 8, chapter 9, and chapter 10, you see our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. It was all about miracles, miracles after miracles after miracles in that three chapter in itself. If you're all acquainted with it, the Bible talks about in Matthew chapter 8, he talks about healing a man with leprosy. Then the faith of the centurion came, you know, and... Um, he said, look, my servant lies at home paralyzed. And Jesus said, you want me to come? He said, no, 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 no. You know, I'm also a man of authority. And Jesus basically spoke the word and he was healed. And then we see the man with leprosy. You know, he came and Jesus said, be clean. And this is where another came in, uh, in, in the same book of Matthew uh, chapter 8, where Jesus entered into Peter's mother's in-law's house and eventually healed the mother-in-law. And then you begin to see also in Matthew chapter 9, and where Jesus, you know, forgave and healed a paralyzed man and also the calling of Matthew. And then he went on raising the dead girl and the woman with the issue of blood and also opening the eyes of the blind. There was so much miracle that was manifested in the book of Matthew. And it's such, it's such a beautiful and amazing book. And this is where the Father is helping each and every one of us that you have been waiting for something for a long time whether be it your finances whether be it your children whether be it for a job in your business and you have been trusting the lord the bible says it says his mercies are new every morning and this is the dimension of the mercy of god and in this hour you know you've waited right from january up until this moment and you thought that it would not happen the truth of it is the father has been preparing you i've always said that it's a place where he is preparing your heart because the blessing that he decided to give you or he wants to give you that he has already written concerning you is way bigger than you can handle so this is the reason why he has been taking you on this test gradually to refine your heart to get you ready for it so that when you eventually get the blessing it will not be hey <laughs> you know charles help me uh, uh james you know james was the one you know if it hadn't been for stacy i would not have gotten it no it wasn't wanted it to be him that if it had not been for God, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, what would we have done? Now, the Bible tells us in the book of John chapter 6, verse 29, it says, Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. Jesus answered, to believe. He said, to believe. The work is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So for some of you, it's a place where the Father is saying, there is nothing that you've got to do. It is not by power, nor by might. My spirit will manifest it. For some of you, he'll probably tell you, hey, you've got to praise, you've got to worship, you've got to rejoice, you know, don't look at the situation on the circum. you know don't look at the situation based on how you're perceiving it at this point in time because remember when there was no rain in the book of first kings you know elijah came and he began to pray what, what did he see a handful of cloud and look at how it turned all of a sudden from a handful of cloud and it became abundant it became an abundance of rain Look at the dimension of Jesus. It was only five loaves of bread and two fish. And look at what manifested. Seven baskets were left behind. There was an overflow. Look at Lazarus. He had died. Everybody was crying. Oh, Lazarus is gone. Lazarus is gone. And Jesus said, <laughs> did I not tell you you will see the glory of God if you don't let believe? And this is where the Father is asking you today. Would you believe me this week? for the miracle in which you have been believing for and trusting me for. 
Trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. There is such an amazing grace for the miraculous in this hour that is manifesting. That whatever you are believing for, the Father is manifesting it. Yes, whether it be it immigration, whether it be marriage, whether it be finances, whether it be in business. There is such a magnificent grace that the Father, Jesus is moving. Yes, you can see it in the book of Matthew. Jesus was only walking. And what did they come to do? The Jairus, the Jairus uh, uh, father, you know, uh, Jairus' daughter, you know, the father came and said, hey, my daughter, she's, she's sick. Would you just come and touch her and she'll be made well? But while Jesus was yet walking, they said, hey, she's dead. Well, you know, he's gone. <laughs> this is it. That's the end of it. And what happened eventually? The Bible reminds us that Hey, it was not by power, nor by might. They said, only believe. Don't listen to what they're saying. Only believe. So this is where the Father is helping you to understand. Don't look at the circumstances. Don't look at it, you know, how, how the circumstances is around you. Because if you look at the circumstances based on what I'm about to do, that can basically shake your faith. And the Father is helping you to understand, to stand firm. Because for what I am about to do for you, eyes has not seen, neither ears have heard, and neither has he entered into the heart of man. What the Father is about to manifest for you, because for that which brought you shame is about to bring glory to your name. For that which brought you limitation is about to bring exaltation. For that which has limited you, the Father is about to exalt you in so much dimensions like you've never seen it before. So if they mocked you concerning it, if they walked away from you concerning it, it is the time where I am reconciling all things back to you in this hour so would you believe me this week would you believe me even though i do miracles every day but this is my grace upon your life that i'm about to move magnificently over your life in ways that you've never seen or heard before and all i need you to do is remain faithful stay steady in what i have told you to do and you will see the manifestation of my promise revealed over your life because you have waited on me you have believed me. You have trusted me. You have held on to me. While other people were walking away, you were basically, you kept on forgetting the things that, 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 that were behind and pressing forward toward the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Now, did I not say to you, for every shame, I will bring you double honor? This is where I'm about to honor your name like never before because you stood in faith. You stood and you stood in faith. You walked in the midst of the storm. The storm came, but you decided to go right through it. When it didn't make sense, you held on anyway and this is where i'm about to reward you for your faithfulness for holding on being steady being still knowing that i am god in your life and this week i'm about to show out for you like i have never in your life before so this is a new dimension of my glory over your life so this week will be a week of miracles over your life for that in which you're believing for has already what has already been sent to you so be expectant because at any moment from now the phone is going to ring at any moment from now that email will be sent to you at any moment from now that package is going to come to your door listen out for the doorbell it will go off at any point in time that in which you have been believing for concerning marriage and finances be attentive pay attention to your environment to your surroundings because i'm about to bring that in which you're believing for i'm about to bring it your way because you have stayed in faith abraham waited he waited he waited but the angel of the lord came to him and he said hey it is time for the manifestation and it came to be that is why sarah laughed she laughed because she was holding what the father had promised her right from the very beginning did you see the story of anna anna went into the temple and Eli said, hey, that in which you're believing for has already been what? Been conferred unto you. And she went on believing. That centurion came to Jesus. He said, look, I'm not worthy to have you under my roof, but speak the word. And Jesus said, go. He said, your faith, your faith, your faith, your faith. He says, your faith has spoken for you. And he went away and he saw it exactly as Jesus said. Jesus took the five loaves of bread. He raised it up. He blessed it. And he fed the 5,000 people, excluding men and children. 
Do you see him? And he brought Lazarus out of the grave. And on the third day, he by himself, he rose up. In John chapter 21, he manifested bread without the works of Peter. It manifested fish without the works of the apostles. And you can also see it in the dimension of the glorious name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. When he fed the 4,000. And what? How many baskets were left? About four baskets were left. Overflow was manifesting. And when they needed to pay the taxes, what happened? He sent Peter, he said, go to the river, the first fish you catch, pay for my tax and your tax. This is the dimension that what has been made, what has, what you thought was impossible is now being made. Ah, what you thought was impossible is now being made. I'm repeating that one more time. What you thought was impossible is now being made possible because I am about to show out for you in a glorious dimension like you've never seen it before because I am so gloriously proud of you, of how you held on to me. You could have turned back. You could have given, you had every opportunity to turn back and said, you will not follow me. You had every chance to say, Father, I have waited too long. I am no longer bothered about waiting anymore, but you held on. And this is the hour that I'm showing my power in your life. I'm about to bring to pass this week, that in which I have promised you and the time has come. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. So I rejoice with you. Be expectant because that in which you're believing the Father for is here. Rejoice, but I say rejoice. <laughs> in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. You know, I was speaking yesterday and I was helping us to understand that for those that have been married, you know, that the father, you know, for because they get got abandoned, the you know, the father is about to show mercy over their lives and helping them to also understand, you know, it's a dimension where people walked away from them. And, you know, and the father is helping you to understand that some of them, they didn't enter. You remember Moses? Yes, that Moses, it was because of disobedience, not because of his anger, but because of disobedience in the instruction of what the father was speaking. You know, that's why he didn't. But the father is looking upon you with mercy and he's saying, this this week, yes, everything, every ordinance that was written concerning you and the reason why you thought you did not qualify for that is the reason why I want you to understand that you do qualify for it. So you're entering in. You're entering in because your hour has come. Rejoice because this week <laughs> is the week of your miracles in Jesus' mighty name. So we're, we're expecting. We're expecting. Be in a place of expectation because the Lord loves you very much. I love you all. Stay blessed in the presence of the most high god because you have the blessedness of the one who has called you right from the beginning in jesus mighty name amen and amen i love you all stay blessed in the glory that you are in zion in jesus name amen